This episode of the In Session Real Estate TV Show is brought to you by The Power Is Now. Kenny Session has over 25 years in the real estate business in the Bay Area. Kenny is the past president of the California Association of Real Estate Brokers and the past president of Associated Real Property Brokers. And now, your host, your real estate broker, Kenny Session. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of the In Session Real Estate TV Show. We really appreciate you taking some time out of your morning to watch our show. I am Kenny Session, the broker and CEO of Session Real Estate. I've been in business since 1987, and this show has been in production since 1997. We're happy to be here now on Coffee TV, where we will be able to share pertinent information with you on a weekly basis. This is not an infomercial. This is a real estate TV show. Again, good morning and welcome to the show this morning. We really appreciate you taking some time out of your morning to watch the show. On today's show, we have a very exciting topic that we're going to be talking about. We're going to be going over reverse mortgages. This is one of the shows that uh, really I'm passionate about. I really enjoy doing this show because we enjoy sharing information and pertinent information with our senior citizens. Um, on a daily basis, I engage senior citizens who either need reverse mortgages and don't have them, and I've engaged people who have re reverse mortgages and, and to some extent don't even need them. So today we're going to be talking about uh, who needs a reverse mortgages, some of the myths about reverse mortgages, and hopefully we'll be able to educate you about the possibility. Um, so today, what I want to do is go ahead and introduce you to my guest. Today I have on the set with me Anthony George. Anthony is born and raised in L.A., Los Angeles. He graduated from UCLA in 1987 with a degree in math and applied science. He's the broker and CEO of Professional Financial Mortgage Consultants Incorporated. He's been a real estate broker and mortgage broker since 1991. Um, he also is an investor, and he's also a licensed insurance. And you just do everything, huh? Well, I want to thank you, Kenny. Yes, sir. Thank you for inviting me to the show. Um, I love working with seniors. Uh, my father, he's a senior. So, you know, I understand their plight. Um, as a matter of fact, I understand, you know, the things that they need. Um, I love helping people. You know, I went to UCLA. It's just my nature. Anybody who know me know I love and care for the people. Um, but I want to thank you. I want to share the knowledge. I want everybody to live a good life, you know, in their retirement years, you know, because you deserve it. They surely do, man. And, you know, I, I'm passionate about it, too, because we all have grandparents. And I was raised by my grandparents. And, you know, one of the things that we learned is as they get up in age, it's our turn to start taking care of them. And so with, we, I know we may have some senior citizens watching us today, but mm -hmm. even their children. We want you guys to watch. Um, if you have seniors in your life, whether they're your grandparents, your parents, or even someone in your neighborhood, we yeah. want you to watch this show and share this information because you just don't know who you might be able to touch with the same information. So with right. that being said, we're going to get right into this because, as you guys know, this is a very short show. Um, so let's go right into it. First of all, okay. what is a reverse mortgage? Can you tell the, our community what a reverse mortgage is? Absolutely. A reverse mortgage is a home equity conversion mortgage. What it does is it allows you to take the equity that you've built up in your home and convert it into cash. Um, when I say convert it into cash, um, it improves your, your cash flow. Basically, you know, when you retire, most people retire on what? A budget, you know, and a budget is the key to everything. When you start looking at a budget, you got to look at how much money is coming into the household versus how much money is leaving the household. So you know that if you got more coming in than what's going out, then you're okay. But if you got a certain amount of money coming in and you have the same amount going out, then, you know, you're on the borderline. You, you, you may be in trouble. You know, so you have to make some decisions. And then, of course, naturally, if you have more money going out than what's actually coming in, then, you know, you have to make some serious decisions because basically you're on the verge of bankruptcy or 
um, losing some things. Or not even living <clears throat> a happy life. Right. You know, many of I know that um, what I've seen, and I'm sure you've seen it, where we've got senior citizens that are on fixed income. Mm -hmm. And their income may have been fixed for the last five or ten years. And, you know, inflation oh. causes that money not to be what it was worth before. You want to mm -hmm. talk a little bit about inflation and, and how, you know, this fixed income. You mm -hmm. know, we've got a lot of folks on fixed income that, that can use this these services. Absolutely. I remember when I was growing up, you know, I always tell people about inflation. I say, look, <clears throat> when I was growing up, I remember when gas prices was like 43 cents a gallon. You know, <laughs> now, you know, gas prices are, you know, two fifty. You know, they were up to four dollars at yeah, one point, yeah. headed to five. Um, I remember my grandmother telling me she had a duplex that she owned and the duplex that she bought, she bought it for fifteen thousand. OK. And that same duplex today would sell for four hundred and seventy thousand, you know, in, in L.A. So when you start looking at inflation, that's things just escalating in price. Now, I've seen that happen in my lifetime. You know, so, you know, I am a baby boomer and I'm at the tail end, I'm, you know, I'm at the beginning, well, at the end, ending stages of being a baby boomer. But I've been able to see how, you know, things escalate as far as pricing. I've seen the, the our cost of living go up. You know, I've seen the food costs go up. You know, when you start talking about we bought a bag of potato chips with it. 25 cents. Cent. Yeah. <laughs> and you had a full bag of potato chips. Yeah. You know? So, you know, I think some of our senior citizens bought that same bag for a nickel. Okay? <laughs> exactly. Because we ain't that old, but we know that the people that qualify for this, you know, um, the cost of money is, or, or, or the value of money has truly decreased. It, it has diminished. So, yes. when we talk a little bit, how does a reverse mortgage work? I mean, can you give them just a basic uh, example of how a reverse mortgage works? Yeah, the uh, reverse mortgage is, is basically to help you improve your cash flow. So typically what happens is um, they'll look at you, uh, they'll look at your age, you know, that's the first thing uh, that makes you eligible for a reverse mortgage. You have to be at least 62 years of age. Then they look at your home to see if you have enough equity in your place. And so let's look at a house that may be free and clear. If, you, if your home is free and clear and say, for instance, you know, you retired and you don't have a lot of income coming in, you actually can convert that um, equity into an income stream, you know, where they'll pay you a monthly check each and every month to help improve your lifestyle. Now, if you owe something on your house, you know, you still can get a reverse mortgage because what, what happens there is the reverse mortgage will pay off the, the amount of money that you owe on your home, which essentially helps improve your um, cash flow because now you no longer have to make a, a payment on, the, on your principal and interest. You still have to pay your property tax. You still have to pay your homeowner's insurance, which is the hazard insurance, but you do not have to pay the principal and interest. So <clears throat> that frees up the, um, the, the cash flow uh, for you to live off of to help you to improve your lifestyle. Okay. And that's very, very important. Um, now, we know that, you know, when we say reverse mortgage, mm -hmm. we know that they can either get money out of the property in a lump sum, mm -hmm. or they can either get a payment every month. Right. Won't you talk a little bit about how much money can they get out of their receive out of a reverse mortgage in hand? If we were just going to do a lump sum, <laughs> okay, is um, that a good question? You know, you know, that, you know, it's it's a good question. Uh, they have a complicated formula that they use. Um, one of the things is your house have to have equity. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I don't want you to believe that. Okay, if my house is worth a half million, that they're going to give you a half million. That is not the case, okay? When I say you have to have equity, believe me, in dealing with the reverse mortgage, you better be around the, the 50, 55, maybe 60% of the value mm -hmm. um, in order to, to get the reverse mortgage. So if you don't have enough equity, then that may make you ineligible. But what you can do is if you have a lump sum of cash or a nice savings, um, you could bring that in to, to help out with the shortfall if there's a shortfall for you to get the reverse mortgage again um, to eliminate the uh, mortgage payments to, you know, increase your cash flow, your monthly cash flow. Well, the number one thing is to eliminate any monthly payments, which mm -hmm. I, it will allow you to keep that money into your household. Mm -hmm. If you're not making a payment, those funds that you would normally pay for a mortgage payment end up staying in your pocket so you can use to offset other debt. But we, right. we also talked about um, there's a lump sum pack, and I know that you, it's hard mm -hmm. to calculate the payment, right. just as you said. But even monthly mm -hmm. payments, I know that they also have a monthly payment option where mm -hmm. someone can receive a check from the mortgage company every month. Absolutely. You know, you can get a monthly check, and what they're going to do is they're going to base it on um, the life expectancy. Um, it depends on your age, your life expectancy, how much equity you have. <clears throat> so say, for instance, you don't have anything owed against your home. 
naturally you're going to maximize on the amount of income that you'll be able to receive on a monthly basis. But if you owe a mortgage against your home, then they have to pay that off first. And then whatever's left over, then they can utilize those funds and, and give you an income stream on a monthly basis. So <clears throat> basically, um, if you wanted to get a lump sum, you could take the lump sum and you could utilize the monies for wherever, whatever you decide to, to do with the monies. Um, and a lot of people, you know, do it for health care reasons. Um, they want to, you know, stay in their home. They, they, they've been there for years. They don't want to leave the neighborhood. So um, they love where they live. So it's a good program to help you stay in your home. It's a good program to, to give you in-home care. Um, it's, it's a good program uh, to kind of take pressure off the children, you know. Um, so as far as the monthly cash flow, it, it can help out with a lot of different things. But if you take the lump sum, you can do the same thing, you mm -hmm. know, with it. You know, okay. you can take it and put it in your bank account if that's something that you choose to do. Or um, you can actually just leave it in the form of a line of credit if that's what you want to do and, and utilize it whenever you think is necessary. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you know, and that's, that's great information. Um, you know, we've got a lot of questions. Um, we're going to talk about some of the myths because we, I, matter of mm -hmm. fact, I just heard some stuff today that I really want to bring up <laughs> in this show. Right. But, but once you guys hold on for just a second, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back with Mr. George and we're going to continue this conversation. We're going to get into some of the myths that you guys have heard, whether they're true or not. So we'll be right back in a minute. You're watching the In Session Real Estate TV show. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Real estate professionals, don't miss the NARAB Regional Midwinter Conference here in Oakland, where you're gonna learn about exclusive loan products being rolled out for your clients. We need the community to show up to Oakland City Hall Saturday, February the 20th for a wealth building workshop. Come on out to the National Association of Real Estate Brokers Regional Conference on February the 18th through the 20th. We'll, we'll see, see you there. there. I love working with seniors. We want to help you to improve your lifestyle. The reverse mortgage helps you improve your monthly cash flow. It allows you to live the life that you deserve to live. So if you're running a little short on your retirement, there's no need to struggle. It helps you to live a better life. It helps you to do the things that you set out to do. You shouldn't be sitting at home being a slave to your house because the reverse mortgage is your solution. Give me a call, 1-800-720-9788. Thank you and enjoy a good life. My name is Eric Frazier and I'm a mortgage broker and I have a program that can help you buy a home today. In fact, it's an FHA no-no. That means no money down, no closing costs. You need to call me. If you're serious about buying a home, don't procrastinate, don't wait, call today. These programs do not last forever. Interest rates are going up, housing is going higher. The time to buy is today. Apply to buy now. But Eric Frazier, Mortgage Brokerage. Okay, we're back. Um, we're going to be talking about some of the myths in uh, reverse mortgage right now. I'm sure we all hear about, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to take my house or oh. the bank owns my house, <laughs> right, right, all right. that. Why don't we talk about that real quick? When okay. you take out a reverse mortgage, does the lender own the house? No. <laughs> it, it, simply no. Uh, the lender actually use your house as collateral. So they're giving you a loan. Your house is simply collateral to the bank. Uh, if you know if the loan is defaulted on, they want to have something uh, that they can utilize in, in order to get their money back. But no, you you absolutely keep ownership of the house. Uh, you leave the house to whoever you decide that you want to leave the house to. If you want to leave it to your children, your grandchildren, um, your niece, nephew, whoever, um, that's strictly up to you. Um, you have control of the house. The ownership belongs to you. And at no time does the bank take ownership. You know, they would actually have to go through what we call as a foreclosure in order to get ownership of the house. And that's forcing right. uh, their way in because something went wrong, meaning that the house was not paid off or you didn't pay your taxes or your homeowner's insurance. Okay. And, you know, we're going to we're going to elaborate a little bit further on that, how to get the property over to the children, because that is huge. That is. That is huge in yeah. our community. What yeah. do you do once you get a reverse uh -huh. mortgage and you want to make sure that this property is left to your children? We're going to discuss that in depth as we get on. Right. But there's another one here that I want to talk about. Okay. They say that I've heard this story that with a reverse mortgage, you if you already got a loan on your house, mm -hmm. you you cannot get a reverse mortgage. But that's not true. Uh, like I had mentioned earlier, uh, if you owe, uh, if you have a loan against your place, uh, what the reverse mortgage would do, it, it would pay off the existing mortgage and then 
you no longer have to make a payment because that's what the reverse mortgage is all about. So, you know, with a regular loan, we call those forward mortgages, and then with the reverse mortgage, it's the opposite. So with a forward mortgage, you have to make um, principal and interest payments. That's typically the way a forward mortgage works. With a reverse mortgage, it's the opposite. You're not making a payment. So, you know, the balance is, is sitting, but the balance is increasing because interest is accumulating on top of it. So we call that negative amortization. Okay. Another big question is that this loan is only for low-income senior citizens. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not the case. Um, you know, uh, the reverse mortgage is for those seniors who need and want to improve their cash flow, who want to and need to improve their lifestyle. Um, there's no reason to work all your, your, your life um, paying off your house or paying on the mortgage of your house and then you become a slave to that house. You know, it doesn't make sense. Um, you know, you deserve, you retire, you deserve to get out, have lunch, go to the movies, take a trip every once in a while. I mean, that's important. I know my father, <laughs> my father likes, to, you know, to do different things and I think it's important that you be able to do those things and to continue to do those things. And then, you know, when I do the reverse mortgage, um, I hear a lot of seniors who, th their biggest concern is, you know, they want to leave something to their children. Well, guess what? You are going to leave it to your children because it's your house. You leave it to whoever you want to. So, you know, with the reverse mortgage, it's a very powerful tool today in helping you to improve the cash flow so that you can live a decent life. One of the things that we urge you to do is to probably put your house into what we call as a living trust, okay? You need to put it into something that's going to, you know, carry out your orders or your, your last wishes. You know, in a living trust, you know, I'm not an attorney, but I suggest you have one. Um, it covers, you know, your will. It covers, you know, how your assets are to be distributed. It, co it covers, you know, things that you want to happen. You know, if you're very sick, you know, maybe there's some decisions you don't want your children to have to make, and maybe you make those decisions uh, ahead of time for, you know, for them. Um, so, you know, a living trust is, is worth every penny that you, you, you may have to spend on it. So it helps to save um, your assets and, and it makes sure that your assets go to where they need to go. If you do not have a living trust, <clears throat> then you may be subjected to court, probate court, and that can become costly. Um, and, it, and you know, the time that it takes to get your property through probate um, could, could cause situations that may not be good in the, in the situation of a reverse right. mortgage. Let, let's assume that um, you never took care of your business and the house was in your name. You didn't leave a will or anything. And the house has to go through probate. Well, somebody has to be able to make a decision as to how that house is going to be paid off. You know, and, and then, I mean, through a refi or, or through a purchase. The courts cannot do that for you. I mean, they, they're going to take their time, go through the process and determine who the owners will be in order to make those decisions, but that may come well beyond the time that you may have to take care of your business as far as the reverse mortgage and, right. and their requirements. Well, you know, many of you guys know we've recently done a show on, on living trust mm -hmm. and versus wills, mm -hmm. um, and we've brought an attorney on to talk about that. So many of you guys, um, if you've not seen that show, we can make it available to you. You can give our office a call, and we'll be more than happy to send that uh, in to you by electronic, send it to the, the, the show to you, or we're going to be replaying that show here come because that's very, very important. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and I'm just going to inject right here because I've seen it happen too many times when I've gone to a senior citizen's home, mm -hmm. and, and this is after they've passed away, and they don't have a trust. They have a will, mm -hmm. and many of the folks in the air in the generation right previous to us, right. that's that was what, what, what they were taught, is to get a will. Right. Make sure you have a will. And many of us, our senior citizens, have those wills. But now we're looking at a better instrument, and mm -hmm. that is the revocable or irrevocable trust, which we recommend you get a revocable trust so you can then change it. Right. Um, although that's not the, the basis of this show, we want to let you know that if you're in a reverse mortgage, we recommend that you also go put it into a trust, okay? Now, reverse mortgage lenders pressure seniors to buy additional financial products. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you know what? You know, um, no, the, the, the lender doesn't re re require that. Um, you may have somebody who, who's dual licensed like myself, um, but, you know, you, you may not have everyone who had a, the same ethics as, as I may have. You, you may not have the... Um, a person who have the same desire to really help their clients, you know. And so the, the problem 
uh, that you can get into with, with um, somebody who's telling you to do a reverse mortgage, take the money out, and place it over here for investments is that you could actually lose that money. You know, that money it w was to be put there to help you, you know, in case you needed the money, you know. Um, that's unfortunate uh, if you have somebody who's unscrupulous that is tell you to put the money in the market and say you lose it right away. You know, basically at your age, you know, you shouldn't be taking any chances. You need to put your money in instruments that's going to be safe. So, you know, to tell you to take a reverse mortgage to pull your money out and put it somewhere that, that has risk, um, that's, that's it's not, not in your best interest. In your best like, interest. And like I don't that. recommend it. And uh, as a matter of fact, um, the lenders uh, will tell you uh, that you can't do it. Um, as a matter of fact, when you go through your counseling, and I'll tell you about that, right. um, they'll tell you that, that you shouldn't do it. Okay. So it's very important. Well, we're going to take one more little break real quick, and we're going to come back with some information about, uh, I forget what you just said, but we need to talk about uh, a few other things we need to go over with you. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back in a second. This charming three-bedroom, one-bathroom corner lot is located at 2751 Fruitvale Avenue in Oakland. It features a separate unfinished unit and is listed at $497,500. Hire Session Real Estate today to sell your home. Give us a call at 510-568-4200. My name is Eric Frazier and I'm a mortgage broker. And I have a program that can help you buy a home today. In fact, it's an FHA no-no. That means no money down, no closing costs. You need to call me. If you're serious about buying a home, don't procrastinate, don't wait, call today. These programs do not last forever. Interest rates are going up. Housing is going higher. The time to buy is today. Apply to buy now. With Eric Frazier, Mortgage Brokerage. I love working with seniors. We want to help you to improve your lifestyle. The reverse mortgage helps you improve your monthly cash flow. It allows you to live the life that you deserve to live. So if you're running a little short on your retirement, there's no need to struggle. It helps you to live a better life. It helps you to do the things that you set out to do. You shouldn't be sitting at home being a slave to your house because the reverse mortgage is your solution. Give me a call, 1-800-720-9788. Thank you and enjoy a good life. Okay, now we're back right. um, and I'm still here with Mr. George this, to, uh, this morning. And what we want to talk about real quickly mm -hmm. is the counseling. You talked about uh, the, the senior citizens um, the counseling program. Right. Won't you talk a little bit about you, that? You know, um, there are steps that you have to take in order to get a reverse mortgage. And the very first step that you have to take is get counseling. Uh, that's a HUD requirement. As a matter of fact, you can't do anything until you have counseling. Uh, what happens there is uh, you can have a counselor actually come out to you, uh, see you at your home. You can go see the counselor or you could do a, what we call as a phone session. Um, a lot of seniors feel more comfortable just doing it over the phone because, you know, they don't want to leave their home and they, they may not want anyone strange coming to their home. But the bottom line is you have to do a counseling session. That counseling session will be anywhere from one hour, one to two hours, depending upon you, the questions that you may have and the things that they discuss with you. Uh, one of the things that they're going to um, kind of let you know about is that, you know, they're going to let you know what your options are. You know, they're going to tell you that. Uh, you don't necessarily have to get a reverse. Look at other options, you know. You look at your savings. They, they may tell you to look at um, possibly, you know, if you have to liquidate your, your property. They're going to tell you to look at the reverse. They're going to tell you to look at your budget. They want to make sure that, you know, it's a, it's a vehicle uh, that's going to help you to improve your cash flow. They want to make sure that it's not misused and that you really understand what you, you're doing. Right. So <coughs> one of the things I recommend is when this counseling piece is going down mm -hmm. is that if you have children um, that can be there with you to interpret some of this stuff because we know some of it gets lost on senior citizens. Absolutely, absolutely. So if your parents or your grandparents or someone is going to be getting a reverse mortgage, I'm recommending that, that some of our, our, our younger folks or the children get involved with that process so you understand, especially if you're going to be an heir to this estate, you need to understand how this is all going to work. Now, I know uh, as we're getting ready to get out of here, we're winding down real fast. Right. The last question, now, who would you not do a reverse mortgage? I know some folks show up and say, man, I <laughs> right. want a reverse mortgage. Right, right. Tell me somebody you that you what? might turn down. You always have people who want to abuse situations. Um, the, the first person that I would tell that 
would not need a reverse mortgage is somebody who has good cash flow. Again, I say the key thing is cash flow. If you've got good cash flow um, that's coming in, why do you need a reverse? You know, use your cash flow to maybe accelerate on the, the payoff for your home. Then you won't have a mortgage, you know. Right. So there's no need to have a reverse mortgage. You can ex excel on the payoff of your home, then you can free up all your money. And then that's just like having a, a reverse mortgage. That is if you have the cash flow. Yeah. But uh, anyone who has decent cash flow um, can do the things that they want to do and, and enjoy life. Uh, shouldn't get a reverse mortgage. Again, it's, it's to help you improve your cash flow and help to improve your standard in your lifestyle. Well, and you know, that 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 just about does it, man. That that was one of the biggest things I'm concerned about because mm -hmm. I know that there are a lot of people out there mm -hmm. that don't understand this stuff. Now, you still may not understand it in this 30-minute show. And what I'm going to recommend that you do is you call Mr. George directly, um, write down any questions that you might have, and call him directly. Now, Mr. George, you got any last words you got to say before we cut out? <clears throat> You know what? Uh, I would just like to say this. You know, I, I love that uh, Kenny is educating the community, the senior population especially. Um, I love to do it. You know, um, as you can tell, he's a brother that care about you. He has the show here. Um, I'm, I'm ecstatic that he invited me because I'm 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 I'm, I'm cut from the, the same cloth. <laughs> you know, and so you know, I'm looking to help you. I'm looking to make sure that your lifestyle is better. Uh, I want your family to be successful. I want you to be successful. I want you to meet all the wishes um, that you, you know, want, you, you desire, you know, and you want to leave your property to your, your family. Um, get a living trust, you know. Make sure that the property and your assets go to where they should go. You know, if you get a reverse mortgage, make sure your children is there so that they understand and you understand. Um, ask any and every question. There is no uh, silly questions. Make sure you ask everything. It doesn't matter. Take your time. There's no rush. And again, it's to improve the cash flow um, and, and improve your lifestyle. I believe that you deserve to live just like everyone else. You need to enjoy life, you know, because again, we don't know how many days we have left here. Um, and so enjoy, let your family enjoy. I have a solution for people, you know, who want to leave something to their, their family, but yet they need to utilize the reverse uh, mortgage. And then, you know, in, in talking to me, I can help you uh, to possibly show you how you can mitigate, or I should say, uh, not take on as much of that negative uh, interest accumulation on your mortgage. I could show you how you could keep it um, low, in other words, where it, it don't hurt you as much. So, again, you know, I, I'd well, say, Kenny. I thank you, know, you for coming by for these few minutes with <laughs> right, us. Right. I'm sure that they uh, really uh, are, are appreciate your wisdom and information mm -hmm. as well. But we're out of time today, folks. But keep coming back and to see us uh, uh, each and every week. Remember this, Jesus Christ is Lord. He loves you. I love you. I love what I do. I'm sure this oh. brother loves what he do. Absolutely. We'll see you guys next week. For advertising information on the In Session Real Estate TV show or to buy or sell real estate, give us a call at 510-568-4200 and log on to our website at sessionrealestate.net. This episode of the In Session Real Estate TV show was brought to you by The Power Is Now.